Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and I'm going to talk about Witness Infection, which came out on March 30th, streaming and VOD, I believe. I'm not sure that there's physical copies available, but I'm sure there will be. I got a screener for this, and I'm just going to read the synopsis from here, just so I don't get too convoluted going into the plot here. So, Witness Infection does tell the story of two rival mob families who are transferred from the Witness Protection Program to the same city by mistake. And life has always been pretty protected for Carlo Sorelli, but his past is about to come back and bite him. This is a zombie flick, so that's hilarious. Carlo's father has always kept him out of the dead mob, busying him, giving him a job at the family dog groomers, where he works with his friend Gina, while his younger brother, uh, Dominic, has always done the, the mob dirty work. So they never really involve him, but he's kind of always around it. He got relocated with the family to help protect him, but obviously that didn't work out as they were put in the same place. So... All that is coming to an end as Carlo's father has uh, pretty much forced him into an arranged marriage with the daughter of the rival mob gangs. Um, I forget, I forget her name. It's Patricia. I think it's Patricia. Uh, that's the Miola family and Carlo's best friends, Gina and Vince. Vince owns a, I think it's like a Mexican grill, which they, they, tend to recall this a lot because there's a main plot point with a food truck that everyone is getting food from and we kind of figure out that's where possibly the zombie infection stemming from. So he's always really drilling the fact in that he uses uh, free range and farm raised and blah 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 like all of those buzzwords that you look for when you're ordering at a very expensive restaurant. So his two friends vow to help get him out of this and realize they're in way over their heads because the infection is all over the town, literally everywhere, even in their homes. And the good news is maybe Carlos, Carlo may not have to get married, but uh, the bad news is that everyone might potentially die. So that that's like a pretty good synopsis of the film, I feel like, without giving too, too much away. Um... Uh, what did I like about this movie? Obviously, it's a comedy zombie flick, so, like, that's my MO right there. I was really excited about that. I'm going to minimize this window here. So, I liked the fact that they actually gave a defined reason for why there's a zombie outbreak. A lot of movies, we kind of just, like, well, it could have been a comet. It could have been some weird gases, it could have been some toxic waste or some weird natural phenomena that hasn't happened for thousands and millions of years that was just released and they were just like, nah. We're alluding very heavily that it's probably food related and everyone is just j just suffering after they eat these sausages. It's funny, but you, you do feel bad for the characters, definitely. I, um... I enjoyed that this is this is definitely a unique take on any zombie film because I don't ever recall watching a zombie flick that is so mob based and there were a lot of references to the Sopranos and different mob movies that went straight over my head because I'm not really into that like I'll watch you know I'll watch movies like that, but it's not my first thing to go to. So the, the scenes that would just cut to black and then start again, I kept looking at the groom like, why, why do they keep doing that? He's like, I, I feel like that's a nod to The Sopranos. They did that a lot in the show. And I was like, oh, well, I, didn't, I didn't get that. I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, I, I like dick and fart jokes. So that was a big seller to me. There was a lot of farting in this movie. Because, you know, you eat something weird, weird things start happening. So, I learned, you know, after reading some of the stuff that was sent to me, that these are all voice actors primarily, and a lot of them are from Rocco's Modern Life, The Fairly Odd Parents, huge, huge resumes. And that's really cool because I really enjoy those shows, and I hate to admit how old I was while well, I still continued to watch The Fairly Odd Parents, because that's a good show. Like, shut up. Don't judge me. What did I dislike about this movie? The pacing was an issue for me. 
I think it was about almost half an hour into the film before we saw like a full shot of a zombie or a zombie attack or any sort of nod to like the shambling shuffling things that we're looking for in this movie. So I was a bit bummed about that. I know that they really wanted to build up the background and the family issues and everything that was going on within the two rival mob families before getting into everything. But if memory serves me right, I think this film is like a little shy of 90 minutes. So that, th for me, that's, that's a little bit long to get to the action, which I was really looking forward to. If you watch the trailer and please watch the trailer, it looks really, really good. There's a lot of zombie stuff right in your face, right from the beginning. So I was kind of like, come on, like get, get, get to some action. I'm ready, you know, tying people up and having mob threats and everything is cool, but I want to see, I want to see some biting. There's a cat in here. That's the jingle. So what would I rate this movie? I would probably give this like a 2.5 to a 3 out of 5. I did have a good time watching it. I didn't get all of the references, obviously, because literally all I watch is horror or anime. I watch a lot of anime. I like anime a whole lot. Or like old kung fu movies or even new kung fu movies. Any martial art movies I'm really into. But because this movie wasn't necessarily geared towards my specific weird movie likes, doesn't mean it's not a good movie. I recommend everyone, you know, at least give it a watch, give it a shot. It does have a lot of really funny moments. It has a lot of cringe in it, like a lot of cringe. When I got to the end of the movie and they said it was all based in California, we both kind of got the impression like these, these dudes must be from either New York or New Jersey with the accents that like, there's no way. Of course they were displaced. And also I don't ever remember them kind of just putting it out there that they were in witness protection and they were relocated in the film. I know it was in the, the promo stuff, but I can't remember it specifically black and white, like, Hey, witness protection program, which lends itself to the title witness infection. So it would make sense. But sometimes when you start a movie and you're trying to get comfortable and you're not like fully focused, you miss a few things. So they could have said it and I could have missed it. That's totally plausible. Have you seen this movie? Are you interested in seeing this movie? Because it, I think it's the sixth now, maybe I have no concept of time, but the film is out. You can watch it. Give it a shot. Did you watch the trailer? Did you watch the film? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my solo reviews as well as the reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you so much to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And um, don't, don't go eating any weird sausages. See you later, guys.